What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to some Monday content. And we are up bright and early for our Liverpool club selection. And listen, this isn't a bad pack. Obviously, if you are a Liverpool fan as well, uh, I do think that they probably will bring club packs out. But I'm not too sure whether they'll bring out a Liverpool club pack. They didn't last season. Um, but this isn't a bad option if you are a Liverpool fan and you want to kind of stock your team for early doors eFootball 2024 with the players carrying over. However, I will say that they're missing most of the big boys, right? So Salah's not there. Uh, Trent isn't there. Uh, you know, there's a couple of players. Van Dijk isn't there, obviously. So there are a couple of missing guys, as you see here, uh, in this eight pack. And it is a limited draw of eight players, right? So again, as usual, you only get your three spins at it at it and it's 100 coins right so we're just going to give a quick rundown breakdown through it right because we've covered a lot of versions of these cards before and um, there's a couple of disappointing cards in this that i don't think are worth you know getting if you do spin and you're saying right look i want to get robertson or i want to get shot i want to get mcallister but you actually end up getting uh Subazali or gakbo or elliot right i do think that they are still usable but there are better options i would say on the GP market, or you probably already have better players just from actually playing the game, okay? So, let's get cracking with it, and we are going to start with Harvey Elliott, who is a bit of a surprise pick in this one, and a bit of a surprise as to just how good he is, right? He's got a wavering form, he can play attacking or right wing, uh, one-touch pass, soul control, true passing, pinpoint cross, and outside curler. Don't like the fact that he does not have double touch if you are going to be playing him as an AMF. He does have one touch passing and true passing, but he doesn't have low lofted. Low lofted is the most important one for me, in my opinion. Um, as I said, we will be doing a player skills video and have those kind of racked out and racked up very, very soon. Um, but yeah, he's not a bad player as a creative playmaker. I feel like if he was a whole player, he'd be a better, stronger card. But he does rack up, he does kind of train up quite well, right? So he goes up to a 91 with this build and we haven't even fully kind of trained him up, right? So we can actually decide to put, you know, a couple more into whatever stat we want to put in, right? Um, To bring him up to a 92 overall. Now, don't ever worry too much about the overall ratings. This is a fantastic card. 89 dribbling, 85 low pass, 82 speed, 88 acceleration, 92 balance. And all of these kind of cards, the smaller base attacking midfielders, they kind of play a very tight control, Right? So you've got, you know, Simmons, you've got Iniesta, you've got those type of players, Pedri. I don't think Elliot is as good as that, but with the unwavering form and the fact that his stats go this high, I definitely think that if you do get him, train him up and see what you think. We also have Gomez, who's a bit of a surprise pick in this one as well. Apart from his player skills, he doesn't have interception or blocker, which is a huge miss on this card and really makes this card... Yeah, I mean, without heading aerial superiority, he basically is missing four of the main defensive stats. I know he has acrobatic clearance, but he is missing the four ba basic stats that you need for a defender. I mean, stat-wise, he's a demon, lads. He's a beast, right? He goes into 88 for all his defensive stats with 90 aggression, and then 80 speed, 76 acceleration, 84 physical contact, and 76 header. He also has standard form, which is a bit of a slight on this card, but again, it is that lack of player skills. I mean, that is just a bust, really. Um, and I do think that he should have had at least interception. I mean, most centre-backs do have that. You're going to have to do a lot of training and legacy transferring of players to get the player skills that you need if you want to make him your mainstay in the in the centre-back. We also have Sabozalai. This guy has got excellent player skills. One-touch pass, dip and shot, knuckle shot, double touch, flip-flap, everything, right? So he is going to be one of the silkiest players on the game uh, to control but I also feel that with his standard form I also feel that he just doesn't ever really like I've played with this uh, this guy quite a bit on his player of the week card I've given him a serious amount of time and he just doesn't ever do it for me I think it's because he's a creative playmaker now this guy is down as an attacking midfielder his standard card is down as an attacking midfielder and the player of the week as far as I remember let me just double check yeah he was a left winger um, so this guy is a little bit silkier, right? But they're very similar cards. Obviously, this one, the left winger card, had slightly better stats in certain areas. Um, but yeah, I mean, he had just better shooting and stuff like that with long range drive and pinpoint crossing instead of weighted pass, which this guy has. So again, I'm a bit, I'm a bit out on this guy. If you do get him, I don't think his stats tell the full picture. I don't think that he really does it. Comparing him to Gakpo, right? Gakpo is the type of player that. I feel is in this similar situation as well that you kind of have to play him through the middle and then obviously he is down as a prolific winger but I do play him through the middle because of his height and his ability in front of goal now we haven't trained him up as a wing as a striker here but I think that's probably the way to go with him but when you train him as a striker right and you kind of go that route 
his finishing and his awareness and everything just isn't good enough. So if you do take all of that off and you put it into dexterity, you're only going to get 87 awareness with 12 points into dexterity and 88 acceleration. The balance is still pretty decent for a big player, but I definitely think you probably have to play him through the middle to get the most out of him. Now, you, I could be wrong. Um, I've tried this, this, this card before and it was a beast uh, for a couple of weeks and then he just, you know, uh, stopped being a beast. But uh, he was a deep line forward, so that was probably a little bit different as well of how he would actually control, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, moving on, right, we also have McAllister. Now, McAllister is probably the surprise package of this because of his ability and the fact that he's on B rating. Now, I know um, I know, I think he got sent off the other day, um, but that shouldn't be a huge concern based on his form. Let's see how it does affect him. But he is on B rating this week, uh, which I do like this card. I mean, 86... Uh, Low pass, 86, lofted pass, 87, curl, 80 and 80 for speed and acceleration, 81 balance, 90 stamina. For a center midfielder, box to box, apart from his defensive capabilities, he's pretty decent. Now, would he compare to Goretzka or Schuamene or Bellingham? No, he doesn't. He wouldn't compare to them, in my opinion. But if you are a Liverpool fan, he might be worth uh, spinning for and actually getting and seeing what he's like, right? We also have Robertson. So there is no Trent. Robertson is the kind of full back option here. He's down as an offensive fullback. Now, he does have some excellent defensive capabilities. Even though his playing style is an, uh, an offensive, he's also on B form as well. High acceleration, high speed, excellent passing ability. Lofted pass is huge. And the way we've trained him up, we've gone overkill on the defense here, right? You don't really need to do that. I mean, you could go 90 aggression there. Uh, just as easily, you'll still get that defensive engagement. And that would free up three into dribbling to bring his dribbling to 80 with 85 lofted. It's a pretty solid pack, man. But the problem is there's been so many Robertson cards that it's very hard to keep track as to which one you should go for. I definitely think Robertson's de uh, suited as a kind of an, uh, an outright, right? Even though he's got, he goes really high with the defense. Um, I don't think that that's probably his best uh, ability. I would probably max out his lofted pass. And I would also probably improve his speed as much as you possibly can as well, just to get that balance up and that offensive awareness up. And just have him as a Roberto Carlos uh, type player, right? We also have Allison, who's your goalkeeper today. Um, he's got actually pretty decent stats, right? Um, very decent stats, as you see here. He's only on standard form, which is a bit of a pity. But he does have long throw, low punt, and he goes into the 92 range with the reflexes, 88 with offensive aware or goalkeeper awareness. So not bad at all. I mean, you don't need to say too much about the goalkeepers because all the goalkeepers, usually there's only three or four really, really good goalkeepers, right? Um, and Allison, for me, isn't one of those. Next up, we have last and last is Jota, right? So I actually think this guy could be uh, a fantastic option for you, depending on how you play, right? So straight off the rip, we have him on standard form. Now, I'm nearly sure um, that other versions of him that they have released, I think I'm right if you hover over here. Yeah, these versions of him had unwavering form, right? Um, so these two versions of him did have unwavering form. His standard card has standard form. Um, and these two had standard form here, which is this one has standard form as well. But 87 finishing, 87 dribbling, 87 offensive awareness, 90 acceleration with 88 balance and 81 speed. This is a really, really, really solid option up front. I mean, he's down as a dummy runner. Dummy runners get, get kind of slept on because of the runs they make. It's very unique if you bring him on, right? Now, I would probably throw a super sub on him if it was me, um, if you could at all, because I definitely think he is an option. He's an impact player. I do have a video coming out on impact players quite soon. Um, that you guys might enjoy a lot of people ask me about super sub and stuff like that so that's all covered but yeah overall lads kind of a disappointing pack i think now at this stage i think you're better off just holding lads to be honest with you unless you're a liverpool fan or you're you know you really want one of these players and you get a bit lucky there are some good options here but i would definitely hold for the time being to see what efootball 24 brings us with packs i reckon we're going to get really good packs launch week and maybe the week after so for the whole month actually so let me know what you guys think and i'll talk to you in a bit